Hello, dear friends. This is just a quick uh, podcast, vlog, call it uh, what you want. And uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, online lessons because there's a lot of uh, controversy about it. Uh, some people say that it's really not good, it's not efficient. I personally know a few uh, of my students who completely refuse to even try online lessons because they said that um, it's not going to be satisfactory. And then I know some people who actually enjoy online lessons and um, started having more lessons and booked more lessons since the lockdown. So I thought it was kind of uh, analyzing the situation and look at the pros and cons. So for me personally, I see it as a very different way of teaching. And I would not say that it's uh, marginally worse than uh, teaching uh, face to face. Obviously, one needs to have a very good internet connection, uh, goes without saying, very uh, good environment, so you can actually um, have peace and quiet, and obviously light and heat and all so on, and you do need to have an instrument. But if you have that and your teacher have that, that is already a pretty good setup. So for me, the major plus of online tuition is actually technique, working on the technique. And as you can see, I have uh, my piano just behind me. And when I uh, demonstrate something to someone, I sometimes bring camera very, very close to the hand. So, so close as you would not do at the lesson. Also, as you know, during the current times, I generally do not touch my students unless they allow me to touch them. There's a lot of controversy over it. And um, I mean, I was brought up in the Soviet Union school environment. And if the teacher didn't like, he could even shake your shoulders. Now, something like this, we cannot even think about something like this in, in, in the West or where I teach now in London. So usually you still don't really, uh, you are not really that tactile at the lessons. And also it's sometimes hard to see tiny, tiny details. I mean, how would you bend your finger quarter way, tiny bit, 10 degrees, 15 degrees, tiny wrist movement. And what we have with the camera, we really have an amazing opportunity of bringing camera very, very close to your finger or a hand or part of the hand, examining it and experimenting. And I would say that this is a major plus of online tuition. So we can um, spend a lot of time on the technique and in much more focused way. And the second thing, of course, uh, I noticed that because we are uh, working online, the lessons are more intense. The teacher, well, in, in my case, myself, is more focused. You can't really, uh, what I call, fluff around and look too much at the ceiling. You really focus because you want to try to convey to the student what you think, and also you need to analyze. And the student is also double focused. And that energy of focus, I find very healthy because again, the way the information going into someone else's mind, I find is more efficient and more proactive compared to uh, traditional teaching where maybe sometimes the lessons are more relaxed and the style is more relaxed. And I also find that personally I started making notes, which I didn't do before because majority of my students are quite advanced. Having said that, at the beginning of the lesson, I, I always have a, pin, a piece of paper, I write major points, at the end of the lesson I take a picture and then I mail it to a student. And it's a win-win because the student has the bullet points of the lesson and I, when I open uh, this file, I have file for every student. Uh, at the next lesson, I could see actually what we were working on before, what was the homework, what we were focusing. So that kind of goes into the fact that lessons are more focused. And maybe for some of you, 
Uh, some of my students prefer having lessons just on their phone, some on a computer, some on iPad. This is very personal and again it depends how much you want to move the camera during the lesson. I usually have a couple of things at hand. My main uh, station is my computer. It's quite stable, but sometimes I use a phone because again, if I want to navigate the camera to a particular place, that is what I do. So these, I would say, are two major changes and uh, benefits, I would say, in online having online lessons. Um, of course, the major drawback is sound and even with the most beautiful connection the sound is not really the sound you want so when you work on advanced level when you work on pieces like Debussy and Chopin and when you really want to deal with tiny dynamics from pianissimo triple piano or even see a changes uh, that can create a problem I agree and this is a drawback and all you can do is just to use the best connection possible. I'm still trying to avoid Zoom. Uh, a lot of people um, are using Apple of my students. So with, with them, we use kind of Apple ways of uh, communicating. Uh, but in, in a general way, you can use anything. You can use even Skype, you can use Zoom, you can use a Messenger and WhatsApp. So you need to find what sound is best and of course ideally try to plug your device into the um, into the modem if you can but the sound you have to accept would never be as good as the sound you have in real life situation that is a drawback and another drawback i would say is pedaling because it's again pedaling is connected to a sound you can show how you pedal but sometimes the intricacy of explaining something which has pedal uh yes that is difficult i would agree to that um another thing and then there are some aspects i would say is there kind of you can look at them at pluses and minuses really uh, I would say definitely a plus that you don't have to travel because my studio uh, is in central London and the traffic is always terrible, there are crowds and very often I used to have students arriving feeling absolutely exhausted, stressed that they're going to be uh, late, etc, etc. Now they don't have anything like that, they're at the comfort of their own home, they're very happy and they're having uh, their lessons. So that I see it as, as, as a plus. Personally, I uh, see it as a plus myself because I'm not a big fan of traffics and uh, traveling. So I, I like that aspect. Um, however, another aspect you can look at is uh, teaching and having a lesson in your own environment. For some people, it's a big plus. For some people, it's a minus if the environment is not good enough. Uh, in my case, for me, of course, it is plus because I have pianos and I have very, very quiet uh, studio, which is very important. So I don't because sometimes when you teach in the studios, when I used to teach at short, you can hear singers next door, you can hear violin next door. And we always sometimes had to even go in and try to negotiate who is making sound when because it was quite distracting for students. So now we don't have that. And uh, the fact that you work again on your instrument could be plus or could be minus. Uh, in my case, it's plus. Uh, quite a few of my students have beautiful instruments and it's again plus for them. Uh, but of course, for those who don't and who used to have lessons on Steinway at my studio, I understand that this could be an issue. So. This is kind of a scenario. However, I do think that first of all, health is the most important thing, that um, there's no point risking your life, so to speak, for having a piano lesson at the studio. And having said that, I'm not even sure that studios are open at the time when I'm recording it, uh, which is in the middle of October. And um, we, I still basically what I'm trying to say is that we still can have a lot of um, we, we can learn and develop by learning piano online 
in fact quite a few of my students who used to have lessons maybe or come to London a lot of my students come to London especially so now they don't have to do it it frees their time it frees their costs so many of them decided to have much more regular lessons because they can um, they can afford it in many ways and I can see what they made a massive progress they work on different programs and um, every three four months we have concerts the last concert was in summer and we did it online and we had people from America and Europe and the UK and it's wonderful because another thing about doing everything online you very much become aware that there are no boundaries you know you can speak in within a day I speak with someone in London in New York in Scotland in France in Spain and Italy and sometimes even in Australia so it depends but it, it creates this wonderful feeling of connection connection with people all over the world where now the um, there's no limitation the distance is not any more limitation so this is kind of my take on online lessons and um, what's going to happen afterwards we don't know uh, I think at the moment we just take uh, every day as it comes and as I mentioned safety is the most important but also with this kind of half lockdown situation people gain now more time and more time to work on themselves to look inwards and therefore learning piano is a fantastic thing as learning any other instrument or learning any other discipline but if you ever uh, were considering whether it's worth learning something online uh, any musical instrument not just piano I would certainly say yes of course you can do a lot you can achieve a lot from the beginners level because again I just want to mention the technique which is the most important actually when you start playing and in general I'm a big advocate for the technique because as much as we can talk about musical content if we don't have technique if we don't have skills or means of projecting something we are not going to get anywhere and online setup online situations allow us to do that so if you were ever thinking whether it is worth exploring learning something online uh, my big answer would be yes of course I'd be very happy to uh, hear what you think about it please leave the comments underneath this video if you have any questions again please write those questions and I will do my best to address it in my next episode and thank you very much for watching